This is my top five best local seafood buffets from stone crab to oysters, as well as snow crab legs cut in half for only $40 per person, as well as a buffet in the $20 range on Sunday with lobster. And it was actually pretty good. So from $40 and under, I'm gonna show you all my five favorite seafood buffets in Las Vegas. It's Dave Las Vegas, and you're watching Vegas Elite TV. Plus, I'll show you all my favorite all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant in Las Vegas with less rice to sushi, so you eat more sushi, less rice. It's under $30, ooh la la. Let's get started. Some of the best cheap seafood buffets are your Chinese or Asian buffets. So my number five buffet is a place called Buffet Asia on Rainbow and Sahara Avenue. Now, mind you, it's not the Rolls Royce buffet, but it will get the job done. On Sundays, they actually had Cantonese lobster last time I was there. Now, here's the video. Here we are, Buffet Asia. So today I'm hanging with my daughters and we're meeting up with my dad, a.k.a. Pops. It's Thanksgiving weekend, so they're pretty busy today. I've been coming to Buffet Asia for over a decade now. Wow, time flies. I've had mostly good experience at this buffet, although my last time I was here, I wasn't too happy. It wasn't a lot of seafood options, but they actually brought the crab legs back. Um, for dinner, they actually have lobster, so I'm excited to check it out. That's frog legs, which looks delicious, shrimp, spring rolls. Mm -mm. some barbecue pork. So they have a really good selection of seafood, but you know, your typical items you catch when you go to an Asian or Chinese buffet, you got your fruit and it looks, looks pretty decent, looks fresh. Here's the salad section, uh, nothing fancy, but I'm not here for the salad, I'm here for their seafood. All right, here we go, here's the good stuff. Squid, mm, that shrimp looks delicious. Looks like some steak, okay. That fish looks delicious. I grew up eating barbecue chicken on a stick. I'm getting some of that for sure. Looks like they need to fill that station up. Looks like mixed vegetables, shrimp and imitation crab. Rice, the orange chicken does not look good. I'm skipping that for sure. I love sushi. In fact, next week I'm releasing my top five ultimate sushi restaurants in Las Vegas. So definitely subscribe to my channel. So you guys can check that out. But I'm not a big fan of sushi at a Chinese or Asian buffet. I have to go to a real sushi restaurant when I'm eating sushi. There goes the lobster. When you go to Asian buffets, they take the lobster and just cut it up into pieces. But it's so good. There goes some plantains. Looks delicious. Fried chicken. My younger daughter's going for that. I love sesame balls when I go to a Chinese restaurant. Uh, the shrimp looks good. Spring rolls. I'm not a big fan of spring rolls. Now, one thing about Asian buffets, I'm not really um, excited about dessert when I go to Asian buffets. So usually I'm skipping that. So let's see. You see my daughter's digging in. She's got the fried chicken. So my older daughter's a little bit more conscious. She eats light. My pops, he's digging in with the uh, crab legs. He said it was pretty good. I had to do it. I started off with the barbecue chicken on a stick. I grew up eating this when I was a kid going to Chinese buffets. This is a staple of Chinese buffets as well. Plantains. I love plantains. When I go to an Asian buffet, I get plantains. Okay, the clams was good. I did a video a couple of months ago at another Asian buffet called Crazy Buffet. Those guys have better clams than Crazy Buffet. Okay, the fried shrimp's pretty good. So, so far, so good. In fact, last time I was here at Buffet Asia, I had a really bad experience, so I haven't been back, but I will say this. I will definitely be back. The crab rangoon was good. Now, I'm not a big fan of frog legs, but their frog legs was well seasoned and it was very good. In fact, I'm definitely going back for seconds. I love crab legs. I've never had fried crab legs before. I usually skip it when I come to Buffet Asia, but you know what? It's really good. Crispy. It bumps it up a couple of notches like Imre Lagasse would say. Delicious. Here we go. This is the money right here. A lobster claw. Look at all that meat. Looks so good. This is what I'm talking about. For a little over $19 and some change per person to get a buffet with lobster, 
I mean, God, you got snow crab legs, you have lobster, you have some good seafood here. And they have, you know, everything that a Chinese buffet has to offer. That's some uh, swai fish right there. And swai fish is from the catfish uh, family, but just not fishy. In fact, I like this fish. I'm not a big fan of catfish. So the swai fish was delicious. The lobster claw was delicious. The fried snow crab was a banger. So it was good. And you can't forget about the sesame balls. That is the staple of a Chinese buffet. And it was pretty good. So Pops enjoyed the clams as well. I had to do it, guys. Got some more fried snow crabs and I got some more lobster. It's well seasoned, so it's not bland. I've had lobster many times where it was just bland. Their lobster is good. It's delicious. It's well seasoned. It's fresh. But when they bring it out, you got to be quick because people grab this. So when they bring the lobster out here, make sure you wait. Because if you sit down, get up and come back, it will be gone. Usually I'll skip this and go for regular crab legs, but I had to do it. And it did not disappoint me. It's crispy. It's almost like fried fish. Mmm, so good. I'm definitely back on a diet tomorrow. So now I'm getting full. I had to do it. Another piece of that lobster. But I am very full, guys. But Buffet Asia did not disappoint me this time. So I will be back for sure. I don't like the one on Eastern. This is the one on Sahara. You got to go to the one on Sahara Avenue. It's much better. So we came, we saw, we conquered, and we had an awesome time. Buffet Asia, great place. So now my number four favorite seafood buffet is in the Las Vegas Chinatown area. Their Cantonese lobster is actually much better than Buffet Asia, plus they actually have crab legs. It's in the $40 price range per person. Here's the video. So today I'm in Chinatown at the Golden Spring Plaza Shopping Center to check out this new sushi seafood buffet. It's called Imperial. I heard good things about it, not to mention I heard they have lobster. So I'm pretty excited to check this place out. The prices aren't too bad. Um, it's in the, like the $35 range for dinner. My daughter was $9.99 because she was under four feet. But their prices are a lot cheaper than traditional buffets on the Las Vegas Strip. Not to mention they have a really good selection of seafood. They have lobster. They have crab legs. And then they have a huge selection of sushi. And I've seen pictures online and a few videos about it. And I wanted to check this place out. So we're really excited to be here. So let's get started. Looks like some delicious soup. Looks fresh. Although it's summertime. I'm not going to eat soup in the summertime. It's not happening. I see uh, dumplings, you know, like the dim sum and all that. Looks fresh. And that's why I like to come here around like 6.30 when I go to like Chinese buffets, especially buffets off the strip. I like to get there around 6 o'clock if I can, but no later than 7 o'clock. So we're coming to the fried section. You got some shrimp over there. It looks pretty good. Um, oysters. I got to get some of that for sure. Oh, my daughter, she loves those. Got spring rolls. Fried chicken. Okay. Although, I'm not going to get fried chicken at a seafood buffet. Those ribs look pretty good. Look at that fish. Okay, I see some good looking shrimp. Looks pretty good. Some more shrimp. Clams. Okay. Greens. Looks fresh. Black pepper steak. I got to get some of that for sure. Now, I'm excited to try the lobster. They have lobster now. It's only for dinner, but there it is. Looks pretty good. Looks like they have it sauced up. Oh, look at these clams. Whoa, unique. There goes some duck meat, and I love duck meat. I'm definitely going to get some of that. Oh, gosh, and short ribs, I can eat that all day. Those mussels look delicious, but I can't eat mussels. I'm allergic to mussels. Frog legs. Tastes like chicken, LOL. I love alligator meat, hands down, but I cannot eat frog legs for some reason. Uh, there goes the general chicken. Okay, some shrimp. Clams. Okay, nice. Uh, skip that. Rice, noodles. Hey, that beef and broccoli looks delicious. I got to get some of that. 
Okay, sea bass. Looks pretty good. Sushi. And these guys have a really good selection of sushi. I've been to the Caesars Buffet. I've been to the Bellagio, the Bacchanal. And the Bacchanal has probably one of the best selections of sushi. But if you're a sushi person, the Bacchanal Buffet just doesn't do it. But these guys, it looks like they have some pretty good variety. You know, I see salmon, tuna. I see mixed versions, you know, different combinations. And it looks fresh. You know, that's one thing about sushi. You were looking for uh, fresh sushi because, you know, you, you don't want sushi to sit in the buffet too long. But it looks like these guys are constantly in the back preparing food. So the sushi looks good. Some chicken. Looks like a bunch of uh, condiments. I love seafood, Thai, Chinese, Japanese. So I've been to a lot of Asian buffets. I've been to a lot of Chinese buffets in Las Vegas. And I will say this. This looks like this will be one of my favorite buffets to go to now. Okay, there goes some more mussels. Crab legs. That's what I'm talking about. But the selection they have when it comes to the sushi. So if any of you guys are fans of sushi, it looks like these guys have a pretty good selection. Although I haven't tried anything yet. Just looking at everything, the presentation is pretty good. So now we're coming around the corner and you have more sushi. Nice. They have sushi caviar. I see salmon rolls and of course some tuna rolls. Hey, and then you even have more rolls. Okay, enough of the jokes. <laughs> okay, so that was the ice cream. And of course, you have fruit. When you come to a Chinese buffet, you're usually going to find fruit. Watermelon. Okay, pineapples. Nice. Cantaloupe. Here's the dessert. Okay, nothing fancy. It's about like a, you know, standard Chinese buffet. Although that tiramisu looks pretty good. I'm going to try some of that. Okay, y'all, we covered the buffet. Let's eat. So I got a little bit of everything. We got spare ribs, a lot of sushi. I got some of those fried oysters, the sushi caviar, and crab legs. Now, I didn't grab the lobster yet because they're making fresh lobster. So let's eat. <laughs> My daughter loves eating those cream cheese wontons. I used to love eating cream cheese wontons when I was her age. Huh. I guess history repeats itself. So both of my daughters love eating crab legs. Thus, she has a full plate of crab legs. I'm going to start off with the fried shrimp. So it looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. Okay, not bad. Now, when I come to a Chinese buffet, I prefer coconut shrimp. Okay, General Chicken, don't let me down. Okay, it's good. Okay, let's try some beef ribs. So this is definitely an item that I like to get at a Chinese buffet. Okay, delicious. This is something that my daughter would like. So I gave her a piece. Now watch her reaction. Haha, <laughs> look at her eyes. She loves it. I know my baby. So the beef ribs are awesome. Of course, she wanted another piece. So now I'm going to try the shrimp on a stick. So it looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh, yeah. But first, I want to try that lobster roll. OK, the lobster roll was all right, but I really like their uh, tuna roll. I like their salmon roll and they had a kind of a rainbow combination roll which was pretty good. Okay, my daughter wants some more crab legs, but she needs help. Hey, for 35 bucks, you have a nice Asian buffet, crab legs, lobster, sushi, etc. And this is the best Asian buffet, well, hold up, Asian seafood buffet that I've been to in Vegas at all. I moved here in 2005. I've been to most of the Chinese buffets throughout Las Vegas, Henderson, uh, North Las Vegas, and even Boulder Highway. And God, I don't think anybody can top these guys. So the fried oysters wasn't bad, but it didn't wow me. 
But their sushi actually kind of wowed me because I love sushi. And when I go to the Caesars Buffet, the Bellagio Buffet, or the Wynn Buffet, you're not going to get good sushi. Okay, so that's the caviar sushi. Okay, let's taste it. Okay, it's not bad. My daughter probably won't eat that shrimp, but she likes to play with it. Okay, drums please. Okay, let's taste. Okay, it's good. So what really makes that shrimp good, the crab legs good, is that cocktail sauce. The cocktail sauce they have has a little bit of a kick to it. Okay, now let's try the duck. I love duck, but I don't like this duck. The meat is hard. Okay, so far 90 or so percent of the meat it's pretty good, pretty fresh, but that duck meat was pretty tough. So the Bacchanal Buffet at the Caesars Palace has some awesome duck, but this duck isn't good. Now I took the skin off. It was a little bit better, not much. So the duck was a bit disappointing. Okay, so going back to the sushi, I'm going to try this tuna. Okay, so it's good. It's fresh. So I'm almost finished with my plate. After this plate, I'll go and get some of that lobster. Now this roll is pretty big. It looks like a combination roll. I see some cream cheese in the middle. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, here's another pretty big combination roll. Okay, it's good. So one thing that I like about this buffet their sushi is really good and they have a really good selection of sushi the crab legs were good so far their uh, beef ribs that was one of my favorite but I'm excited to try that lobster and that combination clam right there with those noodles my daughter's working with the dessert she seems pretty satisfied so the lobster looks awesome hopefully it tastes just as good as it looks so the reason why I waited to get my lobster at the end, because they just finished cooking the lobster, so it's fresh. Here we go. I'm impressed. Delicious. So it's between an 8 and a 9, but the tartar sauce makes it a 10. Hey, my daughter's definitely entertaining her dessert. She's like a kid in a candy store. The lobster is pretty good, so I'm impressed. But I cannot wait till Silverado Ranch Casino opens up their buffet. They have a seafood night with lobster tail. It's just all 100% seafood. Now watch my daughter's reaction. <laughs> Her eyes opened up. She loves it. I know she's going to want some lobster now. And what's funny, she just finished dessert. That lobster is amazing. But what I feel makes it great is that um, marinade sauce they have over it but combination with the sauce and with that spicy cocktail sauce it's a 10 hands down look at my daughter she wants more lobster lol hey she wants lobster and i can't blame her it's delicious okay so now i'm gonna try that beef broccoli and my daughter's working some of that lobster i gave her Okay, over the lips, through the stomach, look out tummy, here it comes. Okay, it looks pretty good. Let's see if it tastes just as good as it looks. Okay, it's pretty good. Okay, so far so good. This is definitely one of my favorite Asian buffets in Las Vegas, hands down. Hold up, let me add to it. Not just best Asian buffet, best seafood Asian buffet. And can I get a round of applause? Okay, last but not least, let's try this clam. It's loaded. It's got some noodles, vegetables. Look at that. Hey, it looks good. Hopefully it tastes just as good as it looks. Very good. Delicious. Hey, it's the perfect combination with those noodles, that clam, and those vegetables. It's delicious. So my daughter wanted a plate for herself with some more lobster. 
Last but not least, it was time for dessert. Now, Asian buffets usually don't have the best dessert options, but hey, you can't go wrong with ice cream. My green tea ice cream was actually really good. Now, my number three favorite local seafood buffet is a Japanese seafood buffet called Mikino, and they have oysters, sushi, crab legs, and actually a chocolate fountain, which is my daughter's favorite part of this buffet. Here's the video. To one of my favorite Japanese seafood buffets here in Las Vegas, and yes, they do have crab legs. The place is called Makino. They've been here for 20 plus years. The weekend costs uh, roughly 40 bucks and the crab legs are included. If you're on vacation, it's only 10 minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, so it's not far. My daughter's eyeing that chocolate fountain right now. Laugh out loud. They do offer alcoholic beverages. Now, what I love about this place, they do make hand rolls, fresh hand rolls made to order mixed peppers. Hey, the vegetables do look fresh. You see the guy over there serving crab legs, and that's definitely one of the reasons why we're here. Hey, that steak looks pretty good. I'm gonna get some of that for sure. I love tempura everything. I see tempura vegetables, tempura shrimp. We'll definitely get some of that for sure. They even do tonkatsu noodles, udon noodles, fresh right here at this station. Shrimp looks pretty good. Mmm, some squid. Tilapia. My daughter loves clams. Getting that for sure. Fried oysters. Nice. Some ribs. Hey, and that shrimp looks pretty good. So they have a good, diverse selection of food. Oysters. Getting that for sure. So here's the sushi. I'm not a big fan of sushi buffets. I really like made-to-order buffets where you pick your sushi. But I will say this. These guys are definitely one of my favorite sushi buffets. They make the sushi fresh. I always recommend coming here around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Don't come here any later. But their sushi is fresh, made to order. I'm a big fan of hand rolls. So on you see I got the hand rolls. I got some, uh, some of that steak. Of course, some crab legs. And you know your boy had to get some oysters. Hey, the fried oysters looks delicious. Let's taste it. Hey, it's actually really good. Now I'm trying the spicy salmon hand roll. Whoa, very good. What I like about the hand rolls, it's fresh, made to order. You can't go wrong with that. I like to put some wasabi or ginger on my sushi rolls or hand rolls, and it definitely bumps it up 10 plus notches. Tuna's pretty good. I like the fact that they have a good diverse selection of food. You can get your crab legs, your sushi. They have hot food. My daughter loves coming here because they have the chocolate fountain. She loves clams. Wherever we go, if the buffet has clams, she's diving in. And of course, crab legs as well. My last video I posted was 11 Ultimate Eats in uh, Chinatown. If you're looking for 100% crab legs, uh, crab legs, crawfish in a bag, Louisiana style, check that video out. But if you're just looking for regular crab legs, this buffet is perfect. Under 40 bucks. Hey, not to mention everything's fresh. So far, so good. Hey, I'm happy. My daughter's happy. We definitely love coming to this place. All right, so let's try one of their sushi rolls. All right, pretty good, pretty good. And yes, their sushi rolls are definitely fresh. So their sushi rolls are definitely delicious, fresh, but I'm a bigger fan of uh, hand rolls because it has less rice. The sushi rolls tend to have more rice and, and a lot more carbs. So far, so good. Everything's been delicious. All right, tempura shrimp. Mmm, nice and crispy. So now I'm trying the squid salad with some noodles. All right, not bad. My first experience cooking squid was with my pops. If you don't do it right, it tastes like rubber. But their squid is definitely really good. All right, time for some steak. Ah, it's okay. Nothing to brag about. The steak definitely tastes like it's been sitting for a minute. If it was fresh and I grabbed it when they brought it out, it would have been better. Mmm, the tempura vegetable is delicious. This is the steamed clams. Mmm, pretty good. The broth is really good. 
Now I'm trying the Masago hand roll. It's really good. Masago is uh, fish eggs. It's definitely not for everybody, but it's really good. My daughter is in Utopia right now. I'll laugh out loud. The chocolate fountain. Yes, they do have a chocolate fountain here. So if you have kids, they will love this. Papaya is my favorite fruit. Getting some of that for sure. But their dessert is actually pretty, pretty fair. And yes, they do have a decent selection of desserts. My daughter's not messing around here. This is her favorite part about going to a buffet. My daughter loves cheesecake. She's definitely on Utopia right now. One of my favorite fruits to eat is actually papaya. And their papaya reminds me of when I take a trip to Mexico. It's fresh. Let's try that cheesecake. Mmm, tastes like a New York cheesecake, really good. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. So my number two favorite seafood buffet is every Friday night at a place called South Point Casino. It's $40 per person with your free player's card. They have snow crab legs cut in half, Dungeness crab oysters. Here's the video. So we're back at the South Point Casino to check out their seafood buffet every Friday night. They have crab legs, oysters, stone crab, prime rib. It's $39.95 per person with your player's card. And mind you, it's free to apply for a player's card. Here we are, the Garden Buffet. We arrived here at 7 o'clock, and I will say, if you can get here around 5-ish, that would be great. Because it took us about an hour to get to the front. But hey, well worth it. For 40 bucks. You get all you can eat, seafood, prime rib, oysters, crab legs, plus two glasses of wine. If you don't drink wine, you can do beer. We finally made it inside. I got me a comped glass of wine. I am ready to eat. It's seafood night, so of course they have a lot more seafood options, but they do have an Asian section as well as a Mexican section. They have some good Italian food and of course barbecue and dessert. This is definitely one of my favorite cheap buffets, but on Friday, it's one of my favorite buffets in Las Vegas, hands down. For 40 bucks, you get some really good quality seafood. The salmon looks okay, but just, just it sits out. When it sits out, it just looks a bit dry, but I'll take a piece. All right, the oysters look pretty good, although I like my oysters raw, but I'll try one anyway. Got to get some clams for sure. There's a method to my madness. I'm saving a lot of space for the crab legs. Here we go. Dungeness crab. Getting some for sure. I am definitely not here for the rice. Although that teriyaki chicken looks delicious. But today's seafood night. We're skipping that. All right. Pot stickers. Let's move on. Those spare ribs are so good. I actually got that last time I was here, but I'm saving room for the crab legs, guys, so we're moving on. Now, this is a good section. This is the Mongolian grill. Last time I was here, I did uh, you know mainly vegetables. I'm skipping the noodles because I'm on a low-carb diet, but I didn't mess around. I got the uh, beef. I mixed it up with the beef, the shrimp, and the chicken. It was so good, y'all. Here we are. This is the money, y'all. The crab legs, and not to mention they cut it right in the middle so it's easy to eat. And right next to the crab legs, they have a lot of shrimp over here. It looks pretty good. I'm actually allergic to mussels, so we're skipping that. The salmon looks really good. This is the steak station, so of course I'm going to get some prime rib. Their barbecue ribs is pretty good. I got some of that last time, and my daughter couldn't stop eating the barbecue ribs. She loves the prime rib as well, although these guys do not do prime rib the way I like it. I like my prime rib medium. Hey, this soy fish with the poblano cream is really good. I got this last time. It's delicious and so creamy. Now we're in the Mexican section, although you know it's seafood night, so you're going to see fish. I see fried fish. There was fried shrimp, uh, french fries, looks like some uh, chicken mole. Uh, corn, and of course, you cannot forget the tacos, but we're skipping that. Look at the oysters, though. Ooh. I'm going to fill up my plate with these oysters. I've said this many times. When you see bread at a buffet, run. 
waste of time, waste of room. Now my daughter loves pizza, so I'll get a piece for her. So this is the Italian section. It's not a crazy selection of uh, of Italian food. Well, it's pretty fair. I'm not a big fan of Italian food because it's a lot of carbs. So we're going to skip this section. That dressing stuffing looks real dry. See gravy, greens, uh, some pasta noodles. You know, this is not the Bellagio or the Wind Buffet or the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars, but they do have a fair selection of fruit and vegetables and salad. So here's my daughter's favorite spot, LOL, dessert. And they have a pretty fair selection of dessert. Nothing crazy, though. But, you know, you got your pies, you got your cakes, they have some ice cream, uh, they have bread pudding, and you can find bread pudding pretty much at any Las Vegas buffet as well as cheesecake. And last time I was here, I tried their cheesecake and it was pretty, pretty decent. You see, my daughter's not messing around here. This is actually her favorite section. That's uh, Shanice's plate and she's got all her seafood, her crab legs. Uh, October actually loves uh, seafood as well. So the majority of what you see on her plate is seafood. I got my crab legs. I am ready to eat. And look at that. It's cut in half so it's easy to eat. Hey, that shrimp was actually pretty good. This is that baked salmon. Mmm. It's not bad. Let's butter that baby up. Mmm. It's bumped up 10 plus notches just because I added the butter. When it comes to stone crab, crab legs, clams, it doesn't matter. The butter bumps this up 10 plus notches. And their seafood's actually really good. You get two drink tickets with your admission. That's my first glass of wine. It's pretty good. Their uh, steak is definitely not medium, so I had to add some steak sauce to it. Shanice is definitely getting her money's worth with a plate full of crab legs. I couldn't finish my prime rib, so I gave it to my daughter. She actually likes her prime rib well done, so she's happy. For 40 bucks, you cannot go wrong. Their crab legs are split right in the middle, so it's easy to eat. And you're getting the same quality. If you went to the Bacchanal Buffet, you're going to pay like 80 bucks for the buffet. And yeah, of course, they have much greater selection of food but their crab legs is just like the crab legs at the bacchanal buffet and for 40 bucks for all you can eat crab legs if you're just a fan of crab legs you can just pile up your plate and just go back for more and more and you will get your money's worth now this is that first piece of uh salmon salmon that i had earlier and it's a little bit on the dry side it's not it's not bad it's actually well seasoned, but it is a little bit dry. Let's move on. This is the money right here. You can see about 80% of what I'm eating today is crab legs. So I'm getting my money's worth for 40 bucks for all you can eat, seafood, crab legs, oysters. And actually their oysters was really good. It's fresh. I put some lemon on that bad boy. Heaven on earth. So here's my top five for the seafood buffet. Number one is the crab legs, of course. Number two is the oysters. Number three is their stone crab meat. It's pretty good. Uh, number four is the salmon. You know, I say salmon, but, you know, it's salmon. You know what I'm saying. The salmon at the steak station, not that other salmon they had at the beginning of the uh, buffet section, but the salmon at the steak station was really good. And my number five is what I'm eating right now. It's the swai fish with that poblano sauce. Ooh la la. It was really delicious. So good and creamy. Hey, my daughter October is in Utopia right now. I actually really enjoy eating stone crabs. And not to mention everything goes well with butter. I'm usually not a big fan of the South Point Buffet, but on seafood night, I'm in. Now, my number one favorite all-you-can-eat buffet-style seafood is in the Las Vegas Chinatown area. It's actually an all-you-can-eat ace sushi seafood restaurant, and we're talking about fresh ingredients, good quality. It's under $30. Here's the video. So today, I'm in the Chinatown Las Vegas area, and one thing that I love about Las Vegas 
is the amount of sushi restaurants. There's so many A sushi restaurants in Las Vegas, but Sushi Nico is one of my favorite all you can eat ace sushi restaurants in Las Vegas, hands down. From the ambiance to the experience, this is one of my favorite sushi restaurants. They have fresh sushi. They have a better sushi to rice ratio from sashimi to sushi rolls to seafood. This place is awesome. That pokey was delicious. That seafood burrito, amazing. That uni roll was breathtaking. The caviar was delicious. That shrimp tempura was fire. And the sushi rolls was all delicious. Everything you guys see on the table is all you can eat. So you can order as much as you desire. So that spicy sushi burrito was awesome. Everything that I eat for the most part is spicy. I love spicy sushi. Now, don't get me wrong. I love sashimi. And sashimi is not spicy, but it's fresh sushi. It has a better sushi to rice ratio. Less rice, more, more, you know, more seafood. But that sushi burrito was awesome. I've had a lot of great uh, sushi burritos, which is which is pretty new to sushi restaurants, but. Janga Sushi is great. And don't get me wrong. I love Janga Sushi. It's one of my favorite sushi ace restaurants, hands down. But Sushi Nico has the best fresh sushi, fresh made to order sushi, hands down, from sushi rolls to sashimi. And that uni roll was so fresh and so delicious. Put some wasabi on there with a slice of ginger. Oh, my God delicious so good so i'm about to try the salmon roll caviar which is salmon eggs and again i throw some wasabi on there and of course a ginger slice and the combination together with the salmon roll caviar delicious shanice is enjoying herself she likes the more cooked seafood and it doesn't matter what you get everything on the menu is delicious that sushi Spicy salmon roll was awesome. And one of my favorite seafoods actually is salmon. And tuna is number two. But salmon is one of my favorite seafoods, hands down. And that spicy salmon roll was delicious. So, so far, so good. And what I love about this place is the sushi to rice ratio is a lot better than most a sushi restaurants in Las Vegas. They actually balance it out where you have less rice, more sushi. So it's a win-win situation. Cheers. I'm impressed. I've heard a lot about Sushi Nico. Now, that pokey was so fire. I'll normally eat like one serving of pokey and go to other options but actually i had two servings of pokey it was that good that pokey was unique it was delicious it was fresh it was fire well worth it and you guys can see i'm still enjoying that pokey it was so good so now i'm about to try that shrimp tempura i love shrimp tempura when i go to an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant i always get shrimp tempura and that shrimp tempura was delicious. Hey, and the sauce bumped it up a couple of more notches. All right, time for some more soju, and let's get back to eating. Now, if you're a fan of sashimi, their sashimi rolls are the freshest sashimi sushi rolls in Las Vegas, hands down. I've been to many Ace All You Can Eat sushi restaurants, but this sashimi is fresh. The tuna was fire. So good. Thumbs up for sure. And the super white fish was awesome. And yes, it's delicious. So yes, their sashimi rolls are really good. So now let's fast forward to the sushi burrito. So yeah, the spicy sushi burrito was awesome. And a lot of restaurants, even Janga, don't get me wrong, Janga Sushi is one of my favorite sushi restaurants in Las Vegas. 
but they have a lot more rice they throw in their burrito. So these guys have a less sushi to rice ratio. And that's one thing that I love about Sushi Nico. It's delicious. It's spicy. It's got a nice kick to it. Hey guys, I can eat their sashimi rolls all day. It's so good. It's fresh. It's delicious. So Shanice is munching on their cheesy corn. She said that was delicious. And hey, it looked really good, but I was trying to stick with their fresh seafood and their fresh sushi. And you know what, guys? I got my money's worth today because I ate a whole lot of sashimi rolls. I had a couple of the sushi burritos. I had some of their better rolls. But overall, I had a whole lot of sashimi rolls. And you get a better bang for your buck with that. All right, so now I got the uni roll, the 300 albacore, and eel. Let's try the eel first. Mmm, that eel was delicious. All right, here's the 300 albacore. Over the lips, through the stomach, look out, tummy, here it comes, yum. Whoa, delicious. All right, I definitely got to try that again. Mmm, very good. All right, now it's time for another shot of soju, and let's get back to business. Now, this is their uni roll. I'm excited to try this. Wow, that's delicious. All right, so now it's time to try their spicy edamames. I heard these are so good. Mmm, it actually has a nice kick to it. I can sit here and eat this all day. It's so good. Okay, so now I'm back to the sashimi red snapper. Mmm, so good. All right, so now I'm trying their sashimi tuna. Looks very good. Mmm, delicious. So I've had a lot of the sashimi rolls. I'm getting a bit full now. It's time for dessert. I've been to a lot of sushi restaurants. These guys have the best dessert. This is deep fried bananas. They have tempered ice cream. That's the strawberry mochi my daughters are eating. Now, I went with their toasted ice cream, which was fire. And you know what, guys? You cannot sleep on this place. If you're in Las Vegas, you got to go off the Las Vegas Strip and check out my friends at Sushi Nico. You'll thank me later. So, guys and gals, that about wraps it up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you all subscribe to my page and hit the notification bell for new video notifications. So you're updated immediately when I load new videos and you guys have a great day. Thanks.